One of the most confusing subjects that uh, we, we have to talk about when we're using ballistics programs is the inputs that help us define what our air density is. Uh, a lot of different methods out there that exist. Uh, we're pretty keen on uh, a couple methods ourselves. Now, when we're talking about air density, essentially what we're looking for is the air pressure and the air temperature and then also humidity plays a small factor. Air pressure is just relating the amount of air that's, that's in a column up above us and if we're higher on the mountain then we have a smaller column of air so there's less pressure, less weight of air standing on top of us. If we're down at sea level then uh, you know we have a little bit heavier column of air. There's two different ways to report pressure. Uh, the first is by measuring the raw reading where you're standing. Another method of reporting uh, pressure is correcting that raw measured value, that station pressure, correcting it back to sea level. And the reason why we do this is so when we report weather conditions, we can see a, a changing weather pattern. So we can call that the corrected pressure or the uh, absolute pressure. Um, th those, are, those are some different terms used. Sometimes it's just called barometric pressure. When we're shooting and using a ballistics program, really what we want is just that station pressure. Your Kestrel will do it. Uh, most of your little watch devices will do it. Uh, the G7BR2 rangefinder, that will measure your, your actual station pressure. Uh, those devices are the, uh, what we want to use to measure, and the output from those devices is what we want to use in the program. Now let me show you a, a quick tip here. Uh, to eliminate a lot of the confusion on the pressure, I like to use an equivalent altitude. So if we go up on the mountain to 7,000 feet, uh, it automatically corrects uh, the inputs on your program for the station pressure that we're going to see. So that station pressure at 7,000 feet for standard conditions is 23.09 inches of mercury. Um, you'll also see that it gives us the, uh, the, the standard conditions for temperature as well. Now, it, when I'm shooting and hunting, most of the time I know approximately what the altitude is. Uh, and I can guess pretty close what the temperature is. So for me, using altitude, let's say we go to 6,000 feet now, uh, the standard temperature is 38, but I know that it's more like 60 degrees outside. So now what I've done is I've put an altitude in, I've got my standard station pressure, and now I've updated that input for 60 degrees for a little finer uh, input on my temperature. If I'm using my sta uh, station pressure measurement device, and I, I know this is actually 24.05, I can go ahead and make that input, and it will further refine the inputs on the ballistics program. Uh, so for any elevation that you enter into the G7 program, it is going to give you the standard conditions, station pressure, and temperature. And if you have any information that's even better than that, let's say you've measured your temperature, then go ahead and put it in and just let the station pressure ride. Or if you've measured it, go ahead and enter that as well. Now one last bit before we go. There is an, a, another way to use elevation to get uh, your, your air density. Um, it's called density altitude. This is fairly common in uh, airplane terminology. I've got a little chart here I want to show you. Density altitude basically just combines air density um, uh, by, by showing us the elevation or the pressure altitude with the air temperature, combining them into one number. It essentially relates uh, your current conditions, your temperature and your elevation, to uh, standard conditions. So uh, one way to do that is to you know, have a device that outputs density altitude or have a calculator that does it. Or if you look at this chart, it explains how it works. If you've got a pressure, uh, let's say our pressure altitude is 5,000 feet and my temperature in Fahrenheit, let's say it's uh, 80 degrees. So 80 degrees, 5,000 feet, that gives me approximately 5, 6, 7, 7,000 on my DA. So each one of these uh, slash lines are my density altitude, and that's a single number that represents pressure altitude and temperature. Let's do another example. Okay, it's, it's pretty cold, it's zero degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm hunting up in Canada, Canada, we've got uh, uh, 4,000 feet elevation. So here's five and then four. So at zero degrees Fahrenheit, 
Uh, my density altitude is approximately five, four, three, two, one, zero. So we're about uh, 1,000 feet is what my density altitude is. So that's a really unique way to, uh, to simplify those inputs to the very uh, elemental number. A single number input gets you your pressure and uh, temperature inputs. I'm not a big fan of that because it doesn't necessarily relate to where you are right now. So uh, you should be able to use any ballistics program, any ballistics tool, and uh, get good inputs and good outputs. I'm Aaron Davidson. Join me next week for another shooting tip here on Long Range Pursuit.